the beginning of World War II, the Japanese invaded many of the small islands out in the middle of the Pacific just simply to give them a protection from air bases that the United States might use against them. Those small islands were usually easily conquered because the average weapon that most of those Stone Age people had on those islands was nothing but a blowgun, maybe a spear. They'd be lucky if they had a bow and arrow. But the blowgun was one of the more interesting weapons that the Japanese feared. I said they feared it. In fact, a number of the islands, they literally were driven off the islands by the Stone Age people. Even though the Japanese had rifles, machine guns, artillery, they could not fight the inhabitants because they had blowguns and they had bamboo darts with poison tipped. Poison tipped bamboo darts. You betcha. That's a lethal combination. And how accurate is a blowgun? Well, this is just a five footer. Many of them had seven footers. And accuracy, this is what they can do. Okay, I'm out here with my cold steel five foot blowgun and bamboo darts. Just to give an example of what 50 feet to a target is like. Okay, not the best group I ever did, but it's still a group. Uh, let's see right there. Well, you can see I had one flyer off about two inches. Then I had one right less than an eighth of an inch from it, and one from a quarter inch from the golf ball. So that tells you right there that uh, there's a reason why the Japanese feared the blowgun. Totally quiet and yet extremely accurate, especially in heavy brush and the jungle, if you will. Those islands that the Japanese got driven off of by Stone Age people with blowguns should serve a warning to all governments that are oppressive, that even if we, the public, have to go back to the Stone Age, we can still be a formidable enemy against those that would want tyranny against us and oppression. You guys have a good day.